welcome to another episode of Ada's Diaries. If you're a new joiner, my name is Ada Aditunji. On today's episode, I want to be sharing with you some tips and hacks on how to save money for short term and long term. I'm actually looking at Christmas and then for 2022. So if you'll be interested, guys, why don't you stay on here? And your girl will go and be right back. So guys, a girl is back and it's time to dive right into it. Disclaimer, please. I'm not a financial expert. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a banker. Neither am I an investor. So the tips and hacks I'm about to share with you today is actually some stuff that have been working for me for some years now and to that and I failed to share. So if you'll be interested, drag your popcorn, drag your pen, drag your notebook and let's say some goodbyes to being broke. Okay, let's jump right into it. Tip one about saving money you need to identify who you are yes recognize who you are around money what is your relationship with money are you someone people can trust with money are you someone that can have money and you know what comes to your mind is how to invest how to grow with how to save it or you're someone that when it comes into your hand, you look for the next available sneakers to buy and all of that, okay? On a subtle note, you need to tell yourself the truth because you know yourself better than I know you. And you cannot lie to yourself. So the first tip is identifying who you are around money. What is your purchase patterns? What is your buying patterns? What is your spending patterns? Are you a spender? Are you a saver? Or are you a combo of both? Okay, so if you're a spender, you would want to find out what you spend your money on the most and when you spend the money the most. So you remember, you need to go back and look at, you know, sit yourself down and ask yourself what you buy the most. For me, it's clothes. I know that. I know clothes. So you would want to find out when you buy, what you buy the most. I buy clothes more when I want to travel or and all of that yeah so tell yourself the truth and find out when and what you buy the money uh, you buy um, the most if you're a saver you also want to find out how you save money do you save money at the detriment of um, your health security inconveniencing um, people around you your comforts you might want to review all of that yes because if you're spending money at the detriment of your health you will in turn use the money to treat yourself so you want to know why you're saving money for what purpose you're saving money if you're a combination of both you're a spender and you're a saver i think i'm, I'm a combination of both you want to find out how to create balance so you don't spend more than you're saving or you don't save and starve yourself, rip yourself off some comforts, okay? So, identify who you are. Now, I'm going to be asking you, who are you around money? Who are you? Spender, saver, combination of both. Write it down and start strategizing to see how you'd um, get better on it. Okay, so tip two is... You need to identify your goals what are you going to be saving money for what motivates you actually should be your goal like your goal should be something that when you remember you would want to wake up you would want to get encouraged to you know you would want to do more your goal should be something that when you see when you look at it i mean i i can paint my dream house for you you know you might want to crop it you might want to save the picture and hang somewhere that keeps sending signals to your brain like wake up wake up wake up okay so what are your goals what would you want to save money for okay so let's group this under two we have short term 
we have long term so short term goals are those those goals you want to realize in a short while yeah you want to save money in months in less than one year max should it even span into two years or thereabout then long term should be a, a period of time that you want to save money for so for me short term might be to get a gadget maybe to buy a camera for my channel it might be to buy iphone 13 iphone 13 is even becoming long term okay maybe to buy some jewelry some accessories and all of that you know long term might be to own a property maybe to buy a house to buy a land um to own some investments to travel relocation plans and all or school abroad or whatever you know so it would also interest you to know that be it short term be it long term it is personalized so my short term might be your long term my long term could be uncle ten dollars short term like i want to buy a house and guy man will just close his eyes and buy 20. so to him it could be maybe buying off a club let me not say arsenal i'm sorry okay so different things for different folks so do not say because your neighbor is saving money to buy a land you want to jump up and say you want to know please follow due process know what your short term is know what your long term is and you would want to save to that effect please however if you also want something to motivate you crop whatever those long term is put it somewhere you'll be seen so that every day you see it is something that in fact if you're sleeping your head is ringing that man wakey wakey it will be ringing in your head so what are your goals identify what your goals are okay moving on to tip three on how to save money start small do not be pressured do not overwhelm yourself okay there's none um not no rule that says yeah, i know uh, some people will say you save a particular percentage of your it doesn't work it's according to your goals it's according to um how much a saver you are so if you're a new saver you might want to you know adopt short terms adopting short terms as a new saver and saving small actually helps you to be able to track what you're saving to record milestones it would encourage you maybe when you're saving up to buy a hair and in two months you you're owning that hair it gives you the encouragement to know that you're saving and it's actually worth something so start small start according to you know your goals if i want to be saving ten ten thousand naira every month your own priority might be to start saving one one thousand every month another person's own might be to be saving five five hundred naira every month there are some traders that save like 200 naira every day there are some traders that save um 1000 naira every day and there are some people i can't do a daily savings now because i'm a monthly um salary earner so you would, wouldn't do something that would overwhelm you be in, be comfortable while you're saving if it's okay for you to do um daily go ahead with it if it's okay for you to do weekly go ahead with it there was a time i did weekly you know it was it was lonesome it was really dragging like draining me what i did was to incorporate other side hustles that I was using to save up for that weekly and that actually reduced the pressure for me you know so uh, maybe in my next episode we'll be looking at different side hustles you might want to jump into you know to make saving worthwhile for you you know and under saving small too you might want to you know all those money that people give you or some bonuses some incentives that you get that you don't expect you might also want to leverage and save those some part of those money all those income that you just win you don't you never expected it yeah you might want to save it would also make you you know um you're also within your comfort and um, you're saving within your means yeah so know when to save and how to save and what actually how much to to save and all of that okay okay so moving on to tip four stay financially organized yes so how are you going to be saving are you going to be saving electronically in the bank 
or you're going to be saving manually that actually determines what your project is to um, if your goal is long term you might want to use electronic yeah if your goal is short term you might want to use colo you might want to, you want to use piggy bank piggy vex and all of that you know something that's by a period of time you're already removing your money to achieve what you've set out you're saving saving money for so what how are you going to save this money okay so if you're also going to be saving manually are you someone that is disciplined enough to want to withdraw money and put in your colo or are you someone that would want to set an alarm at so 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 period of time when money comes in for you to withdraw and put in your colo if you're going to be saving electronically are you something that somebody that would want to spend your money before you even remember that you need to save certain amount of money so you might want to go back to your bank and then um, ask for an auto debit i don't know what they call that yes yeah, so as soon as the salary drops they automatically debit you you know it actually helps you and save you from it saves you from you know not being disciplined enough or not remembering you know to remove a certain amount of money to save so you might want to look at this yeah how are you going to save stay financially organized yes i will also tell you um if you're here and you've not watched um the episode on money habits you might go back to watch that episode okay so that you know how you discipline yourself cut down some spendings and all of that okay moving on to tip five spend yes i said it spend learn to spend now learn to spend wisely don't spend and then you're guilt tripped for spending yes I'm, I'm here telling you to save money i'm also telling you to save to spend yeah okay so this is because there are some necessities there are some things you put into consideration your health security food comfort and all of that but you might want to save in such a way that you're not maltreating yourself let's put it that way okay so one i said tell yourself the truth right so if you're someone that ordinarily you would take five cups of coffee you might want to narrow it down to two or three sacrifice a little for you to you know achieve something but i wouldn't advise you to strip yourself of the um, five cups of coffee no you need to start from somewhere start small the aim here is not um how much have you spent or uh, how sorry rather how much have you saved the aim is being conscious of saving you know saving is a culture yes it's a culture and it's according to different individuals so if you are used to doing a certain things if i'm used to buy if you're used to buying clothes let's say i buy uh, maybe five clothes in a month i might want to start buying three if you rip yourself the whole whatever you know you won't feel comfortable wanting to save so you start gradually you start gradually you start gradually so spend but do not um do trip yourself while spending you might want to spend wisely and always tell yourself the truth guys we're about to enter the second segment of this episode the hacks so if you're here and you're new to this channel you might want to start clicking on the sus subscribe button if you are here to give me a thumbs up hi what are you waiting for just give me a thumbs up already yeah and then stretch your legs stretch your hands is your are you jotting is your not part getting filled up okay so you might want to flip over and let's get into section two so we're going to be talking about the hacks on how to save money are you ready I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You might want to listen. Stay true to the end so that you get all of these things. Yeah, they're together. So we've spoken about the tips. Now we're diving right into the hacks. Okay, we're driving into hack one. Hack one is deal with your debts first. I mean, I can't overemphasize on this. Attack your debts. You cannot be owing here and there and you want to save money 
for a project attack your debts pay off your debts in fact debts on its own might even be a goal like you want to pay off a huge debt so that you won't be pressured you want to pay up a huge debt so that you face your own future yeah it might be a goal for you so whatever it is please attack your debts first do not stay comfortable owing people money you owe is not your own if for someone else so the earlier you pay it the less pressured you are the better for you to invest and all of that so deal with your debts attack your debts pay off your debts whatever language that works for you attack your debts first hack two cut down on your expenses yes so if you are someone that has been tracking your expenses you would know where a lot of your money has been going into and you stop you know you start limiting um those expenses so it could be groceries it could be for your wardrobe it could be for your footwear it could be anything so cut down on your expenses whatever that is making you spend much money you might want to hold down on them hack three okay hack three is um opt out of subscriptions i know that different apps you already are on trial remember to set an alarm to go off such subscriptions especially especially when they are not important to you right or when you're not using them sometimes you might be busy sometimes you might be writing an exam and you're not using some of these apps you might want to opt out of the subscription it would also interest you to know do you know there was a time i was paying like a year i paid for netflix and i didn't watch it for almost one year and i was ripped off over thirty thousand there for doing nothing okay so situations like that you might want to you know opt out of such subscriptions you might want to unsubscribe from emails that keep sending you ads on your faith things you know and if you're also very active on on instagram you know how you click on notification bell when your um your fave vendor uh, uploads some items and you get the prompt and all of that please unsubscribe from those things they are demonic they are demonic they make you want i know some vendors will not like this but that's the truth yeah they will make you actually spend more so maybe you might want to prioritize the things you need and stick to it i think that works better but as to as more to a larger extent try and opt out of emails subscriptions especially the ones you are not using for now or whenever unsubscribe from them okay hack four hack four is teamwork yes do you know you can team up with some of your friends family or whoever to pay for some subscriptions i'm talking netflix yes so imagine you'll be paying um if, if you're paying 33k sub or 66k and maybe 33k and at the end of the year you're going to be spending 36,000 naira. but if you are paying such with your friends or whoever maybe you're three maybe you're two you end up paying 1k or 1.5 and you're saving a chunk of money money is money you might use that money and invest in some of that thing so teamwork is actually big you know uh, there's a situation where i've ordered for an item from a vendor with my friend and both of us paid delivery fee and the money reduced for us i mean you might be looking at all this small small money it's just a drop of water like this a drop a drop a drop before you know it everywhere is flooded so it's all this one one k here and there that you'll be saving that actually matters and when you save off those money try as much as possible to receive it put it somewhere because what ideally what comes to your mind is maybe using it to go and chop some pizza and all of that try and, re and receive it okay another another hack is i know a lot of companies will not like this one but to whom it may concern buy generics if you don't have money for designers and all of that buy thrift or kerika 
wash it neatly, wear it. You owe nobody in this world. Now talk, then go talk. Oh, they cannot give you money. I mean, don't impress anybody. So if you don't have the money to buy brands, there are a couple of um, generics for most of the brands now. You might want to patronize them. So get generics. Get what your money can afford. Be contented and rock it with your chest. Yes. Okay, so another hack is sell it off. So um, check your house. There are things you might not need. You might not... I mean, you might want to sell them off. Okay, so I used to have this um, selling fan um, trees. And it was almost rusting till my gardener was clearing my store and saw it. I wanted to buy it. And I sold it to him. I think he bought it 3500 amongst other things I gave him. But then, that money, where I put in my colo. The truth is, if you check your house very well, there are some things, instead of them spoiling, you might want to sell them off. And make money and please when you do it's not money that you will make well it could be a side money for you but you can as well um save it okay so another hack is do it yourself try as much as possible to learn to do things yourself it will save you money yeah so from washing off your hair to you know getting it in good condition to doing liquid soap to doing a couple of things snacks and the likes of it learn to do some things by yourself diy do it yourself you know learn go online go on youtube there are things basically i was learning how to weave my hair myself i mean if you relocate you know that those things you save more money so if you're in the obodo you might want to be doing a certain thing um certain things for yourself you can do all of these um weeks yourself go online learn to do those they will save you money yeah my friend has started cutting her children's hair because she said if they tell you how much they will cut a hair for one three year old <laughs> girl girl just dragged her her clippers and get got to work so learn to do some things yourself okay okay guys um try and make it fun too i mean be comfortable trying to save money get friends do challenges here and there. Might get one or two friends that you want to do first to get fifty thousand or no drink challenge or no hair for three months or no sneakers, no outfit, no know what you like and do a challenge. Challenge yourself to save part of those money or part of those um part of the money you want to use to get those things. You can actually save it. So if you know you have a friend that is competitive or you have a friend that is up for the challenge, why not? Grab it on, guys. You can do um, save money in three weeks, save um, 50,000 in one month, 700,000. Different challenges here and there, guys. Make it fun, make it lively, you know, be comfortable trying to save money. So, um, we've pretty much talked about some tips and some hacks on how to save money short term and long term. It is now left for you to tell yourself the truth and adopt which one works for you. So guys, if you're here and you still have not given me a thumbs up, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead, like the video, share to your friends, and please, please subscribe to my channel. You might also want to click on the no notification bell because the next episode is going to be around. We're going to jump right into side hustles. Yes, we've learned how to save. We've learned how to drop some habits. We're going to learn how to do some side things that will bring more money to us. So if you're ready, you're interested, you want to be on this channel. I mean, it's from being broke to being a baller. You get what I mean? Okay, so we're going to do all of that. See you the next episode, guys. I still remain your girl at that world. And to my old subscribers, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.